and the glory forever, forever, Amen. Well, hello and welcome back to Walking with Jesus. 欢迎大家再次嚟收睇与耶稣同行。I am Pastor Bill, joined as always by my partner in ministry, Leo. I am with you talking about is Bill Moxie, Pastor Bill, and I am Leo with you doing translation. And today we're going to be talking about dealing with conflict in groups. So today our topic is dealing with conflict in groups. Before we begin, let's have a word of prayer. So let's start with a word of prayer. Before we begin, let's have a word of prayer. So let's start with a word of prayer. 主啊，你求你嘅圣灵与我哋同在。Lead me, Lord, in the word that you have for your people。亦求你嘅话语通过我临到你嘅子民。Allow us to set aside the distractions of this world to hear from you。求你帮助我哋将喺世上嘅事挪开，让我哋可以全身心咁样去听你嘅话语。In Jesus' name, I pray。透过奉耶稣基督嘅名求。Amen。Well, we as human beings like to be in groups. 咁我哋作为诶人啦，咁我哋中意系喺诶唔好多嘅小诶唔同小组里边嘅。We are social creatures. 咁我哋系诶社交动物啦。Beyond that, the Bible calls us to live in community. 而且啊，圣经都教导我哋要喺人群当中生活。So we're meant to be in relationships. We're called to be in relationships. So we are being called to be in relationships. However, we are also complex individuals. We are also complex individuals. That creates differences and conflicts. Um, so this will create many conflicts and conflicts. So if we're called to be in relationship and we have conflicts, how do we deal with it? 咁当我哋被呼召去到啊人群当中，喺建立关系当中，但系同时咧，我哋又系好复杂嘅个体，咁点办咧 ？Well, happily for us, the church in Corinth had the same problems. 咁我哋诶幸运嘅系，哥林多教会有同样嘅困难。So Paul gives us a great example of how to deal with this. 咁保罗就俾咗俾咗哋一个好好嘅榜样，点样去处理啲问题。So we're going to begin here in First Corinthians chapter one verse ten。咁我今日睇第一节系哥林多前书一章十节。I appeal to you, brothers and sisters, in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ, that all of you agree with one another in what you say, and that there be no divisions among you, but that you perfectly unite in mind and judgment. 弟兄们，我借我主我们主耶稣基督的名，劝你们都说一样的话。你们中间也不可分党，只要一心一意，彼此相合。So a few things here about how he begins。咁佢开始呢度诶，有几个点需要提及。First thing, we know there is division, and he addresses it head on. 首先，佢知道，嗯，弟兄当中有分党分争，所以佢马上去指出一点。Oftentimes, when we have division and separation or conflict, we ignore it. 好多时候喺我哋自己生活当中，如果遇到呢啲纷争，可能我哋会去回避或者去忽略。Most people don't like conflict; it makes them uncomfortable. 唔，大部分人都唔中意有纷争，因为唔舒服。So we try to ignore it, but our feelings come out as passive aggression. 虽然当我哋会我哋会去尝试去忽视呢啲纷争，但系有时啲感受出嚟之后，会让我哋变得好被动咁样去制造矛盾。The danger with that is that it allows disagreements to fester. 嗯，呢个问题就系会让嗰啲啊不合嘅意见，然后佢哋会滋生更多嘅情绪。And what may have been like a small misunderstanding blooms into intense dislike. 因此系好多时候只系一啲好细嘅矛盾，好少嘅事，然后最后变得一发不可收拾
So Paul is not allowing that. He is forcing them to face the issue. Paul 并冇让咁样嘅事情发生，所以佢一开始就叫大家去面对呢个问题。And importantly, here he doing it in the name of Jesus. 更重要嘅系佢系诶藉着主耶稣基督嘅名去做呢啲事嘅。This is not just a manager coming down to yell at his employees. Ah, 唔系诶咩诶经理老板去对佢嘅员工讲嘢。He is reminding them of who they all serve, and he takes no privilege for himself. 佢系喺度提醒大家，诶，我哋一齐去服侍嘅系边个，而唔系因为佢自己有咩特权。Now, at, at this point, he could have just used his authority. And mandated that they agree with each other. 喺呢个时候，其实佢本身系可以用佢自己嘅权柄、佢权威去叫大家服从。But he instead appeals to the higher power, the higher mission, and reminds them who they are. 但系佢并冇咁做，佢指出嘅系佢哋系藉住主耶稣基督，诶，有更高嘅权柄去做嘅呢件事。He tells them they should be united. 佢同佢哋讲话，佢哋需要一心一意，彼此相合。That term in Greek for united, karditizo, means to mend or restore. 嗯，咁喺呢度啊，彼此相合嘅希列文啦，系复合嘅意思，系重整嘅意思。Paul is saying these divisions are not natural, and they need to be healed. 保罗喺度讲话呢啲纷争系唔自然嘅，系佢需要去被处理，需要去被恢复嘅。We can have different views, but we still need to be one church. 我哋可以有唔同嘅意见，但系我哋同时系一个教会，一个肢体。So he has acknowledged the conflict and pointed out the division. 所以佢承认呢个纷争，亦都指出呢个问题。He tells them it must be healed. 佢同佢哋讲呢个一定要诶、uh, 被诶、uh, 恢复。He reminds them of their common mission， 亦都提醒佢哋诶我哋一齐嘅一个共同嘅使命系乜嘢。And then he moves on to the specific issue in verses e l and t w 然后咧，佢喺十一、十二节就去专门去处理呢个好具体嘅问题。My brothers and sisters, some from Chloe's household have informed me that there are quarrels among you. What I mean is this: one of you says, "I follow Paul," and another, "I follow Apollos," and another, "I follow Cephas," and still another, "I follow Christ." 十一节，因为格来是家里的人，曾对我提起弟兄们来，说你们中间有纷争。我的意思就是，你们个人说，我是属保罗的，我是属阿波罗的，我是属基法的，我是属基督的。So there were some differences in this church. <laughs> 所以喺呢个教会当中，我哋见到有好多嘅诶唔同。Now Apollos, you can read about Acts 18, and you probably know who Peter and Paul are. 关于阿波罗，我哋可以睇《少行传》嘅十八章，然后大家其实知道边个系保罗，边个系彼得。Now today we may say, well, obviously they should all just follow Jesus. 而家当下我哋肯定会讲话，咁佢都肯定系要去都系诶、呃、跟随基督啦。But in truth, they did. There were just some theological differences. 其实佢哋都系跟随基督嘅，只系佢当中有一啲神学观点嘅纷争。In today's terms, you can think of Apollos, Peter, and Paul as different denominations. 咁可能喺今天睇嚟咧，个阿波罗啊、保罗啊、彼得啦，可能就代表住唔同嘅宗派。So Paul looks at the issue and says, "That's the problem." 然后保罗睇到呢个问题，就同佢哋讲，指出 This is the center of all their other arguments。呢个系所有呢啲论据嘅中心。You see, if you have a base theological difference with someone, it can lead to other divisions。嗯，所以如果我哋彼此之间有关于神学嘅纷争嘅话，呢、这个不同会带嚟好多其他嘅问题。So Paul goes through all the Petty quarrels and gets to the point. So Paul, he directly to this problem. You see, when you have division in a group, you often have these little fights kind of everywhere. When we are in a group, there are differences. So, often, there will be little fights. 
those little arguments over food or carpet choice are usually symptoms of a bigger problem. 嗯,咁有時呢啲真係可能係關於食物啦,或者甚至係關於個地氈應該係用啲係用啲咩地氈。嗯,但係通通常呢呢情況都係指出嘅係更深嘅一個問題。So Paul cuts through all that and goes right to the issue. 啊,所以保羅並冇停留喺呢啲細枝末角嘅問題上面,而直接嚟到問題核心。And uh, he gives him his response in verse 13. 而喺十三節保羅俾佢一個回答。Is Christ divided? Was Paul crucified for you? Were you baptized in the name of Paul? 基督是分開的嗎? 保羅為你們釘了十字架嗎? 你們是奉保羅的名受了洗嗎? He's like, what are you thinking? <laughs> Don't be divided over personalities. 不要因著人的不同而分開. You may like this pastor or that pastor, but that shouldn't cause division. 或者你很喜歡這個牧師,或者有人喜歡那個牧師,但我們不可以因為這樣而分開. Are we to separate and tear apart the body of Christ because you like Calvin and I don't? 我們會讓基督的身體分開嗎? 只是因為可能你更喜歡加爾文,而我不是. We should not separate the body for the sake of human beings. 我們不應該將基督的身體分開,只是因為人的不同. Then Paul does something really difficult in the next couple of verses. He calls out his own followers. 保羅在節律的幾節裏面,他就做了一件很困難的事情,就是關於 we see this in verses 14 to 16. I thank God that I did not baptize any of you except Crispus and Gaius, so no one can say that you were baptized in my name. Yes, I also baptized the household of Stephanus. Beyond that, I don't remember if I baptized anyone else. 十四節,我感謝神除了基利斯部並該有以外,我沒有給你們一個人施洗。there were people who argued their supremacy based on Paul's baptism. At this time, Paul was the main person for the church in Corinth. James was in Jerusalem with the Nazarite community and pretty much the head of the church. Peter was the chosen disciple, but he was working mainly with the Jewish population. And Apollos was a very rich and well-educated man with a lot of influence. Paul was the, the Gentile reaching apostle, so he was not as important as the rest of them. Now today we know how important Paul's ministry was, but back then he was not a big deal. His ministry was kind of viewed with a sideways glance because he was not part of the in crowd. Does, even so, he doesn't call, fail to call out those people who refer to him as the chief. They're trying to lift him up and he says, no, I'm going to speak some truth to you. Then he drills down to the one particular thing causing the division in verse 17. 所以他在第十七節指出一個很重要的一點是引致他們的分爭的。Verse 
For Christ did not send me to baptize, but to preach the gospel, not with wisdom and eloquence, lest the cross of Christ be emptied of its power. 十七节，基督差遣我，原不是为施洗，乃是为传福音，并不用智慧的言语，免得基督的十字架落了空。The particular theological issue at hand was baptism. 咁呢个特定嘅神学问题就系关于洗礼。Who baptized you? Are are you a real Christian? 啊，你系一个真正基督徒吗？系边个为你施洗嘅 ？This is what's dividing. 呢个系引致佢纷争嘅核心问题。Now he doesn't say, "Hey, this is the issue. Stop it." 啊，保罗并唔系话哦，呢个系问题，啊，我哋可以停止纷争啦。He corrects the misunderstanding. He says this is not about human wisdom; it's about Jesus. 而系佢修正呢个错误嘅理解。佢话呢个并唔系因为人嘅智慧，而系因着基督嘅十字架。He specifically calls out the key issue, not the symptoms. 佢指出嘅系一个问题嘅关键，并唔系嗰啲症状。He puts reconciliation above his own interest. 佢将啊人嘅纷争嘅呢个和解同埋复合放喺高于佢自己嘅诶利益嘅位置上。And then he moves on to the healing part in verse eighteen. 然后佢喺十八节将大家带到去一个复合嘅呢个地方。For the message of the cross is foolishness to those who are perishing, but to us who are being saved, it is the power of God. 因为十字架的道理，在那灭亡的人为愚拙，在我们得救的人却为神的大能。For the people on the outside, they don't understand. 喺唔信嘅人当中，佢唔知道十字架嘅道理。In the first century, even saying the message of the cross would be confusing. 喺第一世纪，我哋如果讲十字架道理，向人传十字架道理嘅话，好多人都会觉得系好难理解嘅。What message can a painful and publicly humiliating death have? 一个咁痛苦嘅十字架，咁羞辱嘅十字架，会有啲咩道理喺当中呢 ？But to those who are being saved, it is the power of God. 但系对嗰啲得救嘅人嚟讲，呢个佢系神嘅大能。For those who trust in the message, to them, it's the actual power of the Lord. 对嗰啲相信呢个道理嘅人嚟讲。十字架系神大能嘅真实显现。There is power in the gospel when it's received with faith。当神嘅福音喺信心当中接受嘅时候，佢嘅福音系有大能嘅。The hearing of the word and trusting God brings the power of the Lord into your life。当我哋听到并且相信神嘅道嘅时候，神嘅道理就喺我生命当中显出大能。Paul is not saying he can fix the issue. Paul 并唔系讲话佢自己可以修正呢个问题。He's not offering seven steps to a better organization. 嗯，佢并冇同佢讲话点样有七个步骤可以成为一个好好嘅运行嘅机制。He shares the truth that the power of God working in them can bring them to agreement. 嗯，佢指出嘅系一个诶真理佢本身。并且神嘅大能如何通过真理运行喺人当中 ？To be of one mind and judgment without division, you don't have to do all the work. 如果系只系解决纷争嘅话，可能并唔需要诶，好似保罗咁讲咁多呢啲嘢。In point of fact, you can't do that work. 但系事实上，我哋自己嘅能力并唔能够解决问题。That is not the message of the cross. 并且靠着人嘅能力去解决问题，并唔系十字架嘅道理。Rather, Paul says, look to the one who heals。保罗指出嘅系，我哋要去睇到嗰个医治、拯救嘅大能者。Look to the one who loves and who brought you together in the first place。我哋要去睇到嗰个充满住爱、将我哋合为一体嘅嗰个大能者。That is how we heal division in groups. 呢个系我哋解决纷争嘅唯一办法。We submit to the great healer, and we feel the peace. 我哋向呢一位拯救者降服，然后我哋接受从佢嚟嘅平安。
Let's pray. Oh, yes, I told God. Lord God, we thank you that you do the work of healing. We thank you for the message and the power of the cross. Lord, as we think about all the groups we're involved in, I pray that you work in and through all of those groups. Bring healing, reconciliation, and grace. Jesus name I pray. Amen. Well, that is that. That is it for this time on Walking with Jesus. I pray you all have a blessed week. Enjoy your time in relationships. And we'll see you next time. Bye bye. Thank you.